Should the state continue to execute death row inmates using its current lethal injection chemical cocktail? That is the question the state's highest court now has to decide. In the Tennessee Supreme Court today, attorneys for 33 death row inmates argue the first drug the state uses in its three drug lethal injection combination does not sedate inmates enough, leaving them to feel the painful effects of the other drugs. Pain inmates say amounts to torture. That if an inmate is able to feel the effects of the second and third drugs in a three drug protocol, then that protocol is constitutionally intolerable. To win the case, the death row inmates have to prove there is another lethal injection alternative available for the state to use. The state argues the inmates have not done that, so they should not win the case. The state also says that short of torture, the Constitution does not guarantee condemned inmates an entirely painless death. Now, one of the death row inmates in that lawsuit is set to be put to death by lethal injection next week. Edmund Zagorski was given two life sentences for robbing and killing two men under the guise of a bogus drug deal in Robertson County back in 1983. After shooting John Dotson and Jimmy Porter, Zagorski slit their throats. This is News Channel 5 video from the scene 35 years ago. Zagorski was later arrested in Ohio following a shootout with police in which he shot a police officer five times and rammed an officer's car. Zagorski is scheduled for execution at 7 p.m. a week from tomorrow.